We're here to enjoy a matchup that football fans are sure to relish. Which side will step up and deliver? It's all coming up next on EA TV. Hello to you, a warm welcome to Brentford's Community Stadium, a fine example of a modern football venue. Guy Mowbray here for commentary with Sue Smith alongside me. And it's all about the Premier League here. It's Brentford and they play Bournemouth. Thanks, Guy. I'm anticipating a good match today. It's important they get off to a good start, play their way into the game, be confident on the ball, and hopefully we won't be disappointed. This is today's Brentford team. Yeah, it does look like a 4-4-2. Out of possession, I'm sure they'll stay compact in their shape. They'll shift across the pitch together. But when they go forward, the central strikers are going to be key to hold the ball up while waiting for runners. Here's the Bournemouth lineup. Yeah, it's a 4-5-1, but it will morph into a 4-2-3-1. The single centre forward will be supported by the number 10 and you'd expect them to rotate and swap positions just to try and drag defenders out. The wide midfielders, they'll offer a threat in behind. And so the first half kicks off. Collins, Jan Elt, Mikkel Damsgaard, Vermo. This could be dangerous. Set up the chance. And the pass is incomplete. Nicely won. Clivert. This is a positive looking move. Oh, they were getting interested there, but not anymore. This could be threatening. Ilya Zabani. Unsurprising who we've singled out as our player to watch. What should we expect today, Sue? Well, defenders are going to have to mark him tightly because he's got the ability to score all sorts of goals. He may need a couple of attempts, but when he gets it right, he's unstoppable. Oh, yes, all the practice pays off. Nice possession. Found nicely and in. Christopher Ayer. Vitali Janelt. Good run. Now, can he pick out the right option? And it just didn't happen for them.
Christie. Marcus Tavernier. A little sloppy on the ball there. Janelt. Mikhail Damskar. Ethan Pinnock. Ayer. Corner for them now, and a good opportunity to get ahead in the game. Oh, if you listen to that, they're really getting behind their team, and I'm sure they sense the goals coming here. And they take a short corner. to work hard to keep that in and it's offside didn't get back in time he didn't and he had other options here but chose the wrong one sloppy this Zabani Ryan Christie, Lewis Cook, Ilya Zabanyi, Zabanyi, Christie, Mikhail Damskar, Arvalia. Charlie Janelt. Good patient build-up. Well, under no real pressure, but unable to keep it in play. Marcos Senesi. They need to be better on the ball than that. Oh, they've lost it. The attack is over. And possession given away. Zabani. And the first 45 minutes at Brentford have come and gone. He's been unable to provide a vintage performance in the first half. What will be your view soon? Yeah, he's not been involved enough for me. Not seen enough of the ball. I think if they're to kick on in the second half, it's key that they get the ball into his feet just that little bit quicker. Nothing to split them after a tight and cagey first 45 minutes. Let's hope this second half sees an improvement. Ethan Pinnock. Christopher Ayer. And back with Flecken. Ethan Pinnock. Carvalho. Still all square. Can they make this pressure count? The chance to cross here. Promising position, this. And that's nicely won to see off the threat. Now there could be a chance to counter. 
That's a nice forward-thinking pass. And that's a shame for them, but top marks for the defending. Carvalho. Burbo. Jan Elt. Good pressure to force him over the touchline. Throw in to come. Cook. Justin Clivert. Players waiting in the centre. Good work to win the ball and stop something happening. Using his strength well. Marcos Senesi. Cook. Edging ever closer to goal here. Free kick given. And this is the sort of area you want it given. breaks down that's a real shame Johan Wisser Mikhail Damsgaard not so much given away as cleverly won Sinistera oh maybe a bit of space now and that's where it ends with possession lost Wissa. And unable to retain possession. Luis Sinistera. The ball taken away from them. The noise level has increased. They expected to win here today. This is another opportunity to get a late goal. Promising looking attack, but it's come to nothing. Lovely ball. This could lead to something. Oh, if they score from this, they'll surely win the game. Moving forward well. Can he finish? And that should do it. A late goal. And more than likely a winning goal. Well, if we watch this again, it's all about the run. You've got to question the defending. But I don't want to take anything away from his superb individual goal. Well, underway again. Is there to be one more twist to the tail? Oh. 
Aya. Well, still pushing forward in search of the equaliser. Oh, good defending, just when it was looking threatening. Well, that brings the match to a close. A frustrating day for the fans in attendance, and it's three points dropped. Yeah, there was very little in it for much of the match, and I'm sure they'll feel they deserved at least a point from it. Disappointing to concede so late on, but they just have to look to bounce back now. There have been a few good performances out there today, but of all the players on show, he's one that's really caught the eye. Well, he came up with a moment of quality just when it mattered. Can't finish right at the end to get the result. He'll be buzzing, I'm sure.